Welcome to this introduction to the Deribit Option Discovery Tool. This tool allows you to select a currency, which direction you think the price of that currency will move, and what time frame you expect it to move within. It will then recommend three different options that will allow you to express your prediction as a trade. I'll be working with a dark mode version here, but for those that prefer a light mode, there is a simple toggle in the top right. Clicking this will switch between the two colour modes. Once you've selected your preferred look, it's time to select the currency. Currently available are BTC and ETH. The current index price is also shown for each. Click the one you want to trade and the next settings below will automatically update. Today we'll use BTC as an example. Next up is selecting the direction you think the price will move in. This is done by selecting either the up arrow for an increase in price or the down arrow for a decrease in price. Selecting the up arrow will suggest call options to buy and selecting the down arrow will suggest put options to buy. There is also an advanced section that deals with selling options which we'll come on to shortly. For this example, let's say we expect the price of Bitcoin to increase, so we'll select the up arrow. The next thing to select is the time frame we expect this price increase to happen in. In other words, the expiry date of the options we'll be looking at. Any price movement you're looking to take advantage of will have to happen before this date. Let's say we're expecting this price increase to happen before Christmas, so we'd like to look at the options for the 25th of December 2020. To do that, we just click here. Now we've selected all the parameters we want, the Option Discovery tool will show us a selection of options that are relevant to the view we have. Here we've told it that we think the price of Bitcoin is going to increase by the 25th of December 2020, so it's showing us three call options that could benefit from that happening. A summary for all three is shown, with the strike price on the left and the current option premium on the right. You will also notice the three coloured indicators next to the strike price. These give a brief idea of cost, probability and return of each option relative to the others. The cost refers to the price you need to pay for the option compared to the other suggestions. The probability refers to the relative probability that the option will expire in the money. As all the options suggested are out of the money, even the high probability will represent something in the region of a 40 to 50% implied probability of expiring in the money. And the return refers to the relative return compared to the cost if the option were to indeed finish a certain amount in the money. As well as this quick summary view, we can also click to expand the extra details for each option shown. Let's look at the details for the first option suggestion. The strike price of $20,000 is shown prominently in the top left with a description underneath. The break-even price at expiry is displayed next, $21,367.52 in this case. This is the price at which the option position will have made exactly zero Bitcoin at expiry. For long call options, any price over this at expiry will result in a profit, and any price below this at expiry will result in a loss. The percentage above the current index price that must be reached to get to this break-even price at expiry is also given. The maximum profit and loss are both displayed in BTC terms and also in brackets in USD terms. We won't dive into how to calculate these figures in this tutorial, but there are several lessons on the Deribit Education blog that cover this if you want to gain a deeper understanding. There is one on call options here, and one on put options here. To the right of the statistics, the profit and loss chart of the option is shown. This is the profit and loss at expiry. You are of course welcome to close the position whenever you like, but the amount may differ to the chart if done before the option expires. The x-axis shows the index price at expiry, and the strike price of the option is indicated by the dotted line. The profit and loss in Bitcoin is shown here in green, with the scale on the left. The profit and loss in dollars is shown here in blue, with the scale on the right. 
The balance and any profit or loss is of course paid in Bitcoin. So the Bitcoin line is showing you what you will actually pay or receive in your Deribit account. The dollar amount is there for illustration and shows the amount it would be if everything was paid in dollars instead of Bitcoin. If you hover over the chart, it will show the values for each line at that point. Clicking continue in the bottom right will take you to the option chain on the Deribit website. Underneath the three call option suggestions, you can see we have a toggle button to show advanced suggestions. This toggles on recommendations that involve selling options. The advanced suggestions use the same parameters we gave the tool at the top. We told the tool that we expect the price to increase, so if we toggle the advanced settings on now, it will suggest some put options to sell. The reason this is considered advanced and hidden by default is that when selling options, your risk is undefined. This means you can lose far more than you collect in premium if the price moves against you significantly. For this reason, you should make sure you are fully aware of the risks before attempting to sell any options. The naked selling of options is not recommended for option beginners. As you can see, the same statistics and profit and loss chart is shown. This time, because it's a put option, the break-even price is of course lower than the current price. So the price movement needed to reach the break-even price is shown as a negative. For short put options, any price over this at expiry will result in a profit, and any price below this at expiry will result in a loss. This tool can help give you some quick suggestions based on your market outlook. Due to the tool's simplicity, it can be easier to get trade ideas compared to trying to digest the entire option chain. As such, it is particularly useful for newer option traders.